Richmond Hill Prison in Grenada. Some 450 inmates are incarcerated here. A few are allowed outside. The biogas plant needs a new load of liquid manure. The prison has been producing its own biogas for several months, and the prisoners are responsible for keeping the gas flowing. Like Luxley, he's serving a sentence for theft and has been here for half a year. The favorite part, I should say, is pulling the manual in the bag. You must have to mix it up. You mix it up, you get it to the way. You have to be soupy. So that was like fun to me. Mm -hmm. More than 100 kilograms of pig and cow dung are mixed with water. The slurry has to flow easily through the loading pipe. The prison runs a farm that covers several hectares, so there's always enough manure. The inmates work with the animals as part of their rehabilitation program. But the only problem, I should say, is when you're done with it, you're smelling like I should say like the pig, you know, it's like the pig, you should say you're smelling us. Is that a problem for him? No, it's not a problem because when I done, I changed my clothes and it was like all pig scent is gone. <laughs> the biogas is used mostly to power the slaughterhouse, for example, to heat water. Chickens are plunged into it to loosen feathers before plucking. The excess dung left over at the end of the process is gathered and used as organic fertilizer. It's enough that the prison no longer has to buy chemical fertilizer, which is expensive on the island nation. Around 110,000 people live on Grenada, and five times that many tourists visit every year. The island feels like a Caribbean paradise, but here you'll also find brown streams full of manure that's run off from farms and they feed directly into the sea. Because Grenada is such a small island, the pollutants quickly end up in the sea. That's why it's important to revise the process right at the beginning of the chain, working with the farmers themselves so we can avoid this ecological problem. The German development organization, GIZ, supports a pilot project on the island to build 10 biogas facilities. Here, Grenada's small size is an advantage. Today, they received a call for help from someone who's not so easy to reach. Farmer Sherwin Sandy lives with his family in the middle of the rainforest. You want to try this? Sure. Sherwin trained as a cook. Good. When I met my wife, she told me that her mother has a piece of land. And when I came here, I fell in love with the place. So I said, would you want to live here for the rest of your life? She said, yes, no problem. And every day after that, we walked to oh. living here. <laughs> you don't want any today? Sherwin sells his homemade baked goods at a local supermarket. To meet his power needs, he used to have to transport gas and tanks to his house so he decided to invest in a biogas unit. But it's more complicated than he thought. He mostly uses plant waste as a feedstock material. At first, it was just too hard to collect the five cubic meters of material he needed. He had to get manure from other farms. Well, it would have taken like two weeks and a half there about to get all inside. In some cases, I would have had to use my bicycle to get from one point to the next. And I had to use a neighbor's car to get the bigger bulk of it to come up. His personal biogas plant is producing now, and he'd like to fire up his large oven, but the small flames don't provide enough heat. That's why project leader Dieter Rotenberger has brought a technician along to have a look. Good morning. Good morning. OK, so you, you, you've started drilling some of the holes. Right, we actually have some of the holes there. OK, see the ones at the end there? Yes. Right now, the biogas only comes through a few small holes that the farmer has bored himself. He had to borrow the drill from a neighbor. For small farmers like Sherwin, putting in a biogas plant doesn't come cheap. The plants, which are produced in Germany, cost around 4,000 euros. But that includes installation and troubleshooting. We work with local financing institutions, with banks and associations that can offer credit to the farmers so that they can afford to buy a plant, pay back the loan and accrue some capital. 
bezahlen und bedienen durch die Einsparungen an Gas. Sherwin was lucky. Because he's taking part in the pilot project, he got the plant for half price. Another new plant is being installed on the campus of a nearby college. The inmates from the Richmond Hill prison are providing the labor. It's also training for the day they're released. By then, they'll have acquired skills as biogas experts. Loxley gets a special assignment. He's responsible for checking the interior of the plant before the first batch of pig dung is loaded. Now, this is making sure that it's in place. Mm -hmm. See, when I come to work, I feel like if I did in the free world, so I could learn something, so when I leave, and I went back on the free world, I could learn something from that. When he's paroled in September, Loxley wants to work installing biogas plants. And the more plants that are built in Grenada in the future, the better his chances of a new beginning.